Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here with Sparking Progress. And today we're gonna to talk about a topic I think a lot of us can relate to, and it's what can you do when you're feeling overwhelmed to get out of the chaos? All right, well, I just got off a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with a client and she told me that we took five days of chaos in her brain. Uh, for five days, she'd been feeling very overwhelmed and in less than one hour, we got her to a place of peace, her words. So, wanna know how we did it? I'm gonna give you three questions to ask yourself when you're feeling overwhelmed. I've been coaching with this for about 10 years. I've never seen it not work. And at most, it usually takes an hour. So this will do you a lot of favors if you're feeling overwhelmed. The first question you wanna ask yourself is what's going on? What this will be is a piece of paper. I do recommend doing this on paper and make a bullet point list of all the things in your brain. It's basically a brain dump. So number one, what's going on in a brain dump? It could be anything. It could be pick up dog food. It could be put the listing online. It could be renew my license. Uh, take out the trash. It could be a mixture. It doesn't matter as long as whatever is swirling around in your brain, taking up space, get it down in a bullet point form on the piece of paper. So that's number one, what's going on? It's a brain dump. Number two is what actually matters. And you're going to look at that list and you're going to prioritize. What I like to do is look at the list and put like things together. So for example, let's say five of my items spread all throughout the list are actually all related to lead generation. I'll kind of clump those together and make them one thing, lead generation with, you know, sub points under there. But the point is kind of categorize things together and then ask yourself what actually matters. And you're going to start putting, this is number one. If only one thing got done, this would be the thing. Number one, number two, number three, and so forth. So now you have your brain dumped list. And now you're categorizing and prioritizing in, in question number two, what, what actually matters. Then question number three is where we get some action going. So question number three is what am I gonna do about it? And you have three options. You're either gonna dump it, you're gonna delegate it, or you're gonna do it. So dump it could be take it off the list forever. Great idea, it does not actually have to get done or it could be dump it for later. So maybe this is a great idea, but I could do this in three weeks. It does not have to happen today. So option one is to dump it. Option two is to delegate. So who could help me with this? The client I just worked with, she had making dinner was stressing her out. That was on her list. So we delegated that to her husband and son. And by the way, they were really happy to help her when she asked. So delegate, who could help me with whatever's on this list? It could be a team member. It could be a food delivery service. Um, it could be hiring a high schooler that would be thrilled to make a couple bucks to organize something for you. But the second option is delegate. Whatever's left is option three, which is do. So dump, delegate, or do. Anything you haven't dumped or delegated is now your do list. And in the client that I just worked with, again, she was in chaos for five days. When we actually looked at her list of what was left to do, we concluded it was about four hours or less of actual doing, and it was no longer this overwhelming thing. So you stick it in the calendar and get it done. So again, the three questions to ask yourself, what's going on, which is a brain dump, Question two, what actually matters, which is where you prioritize. And then question three, what am I going to do about it? And your options are dump, delegate, or do. If you are in a state of overwhelm, this should take anywhere probably from 20 minutes to an hour. Very unlikely it would go more than an hour. And I feel quite certain you will feel much calmer and organized and just take a deep breath after you do this activity. If you do this, let me know how it goes. Please reply and let me know what difference this made for you and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today.